Welcome back to Queen City Corals, guys. So today I got some very interesting news. We got a little bit of good news, a little bit of bad news. Um, we'll start with the bad news. Um, so as you guys can see, the store looks very different. Um, so unfortunately, guys, we're gonna have to be shutting this place down. Um, but the good news is that we have moved into our new location right behind here into our farm. So luckily guys, don't worry, you can still get your corals from us in person and online there. Just head to the back of the store um, and we'll head over there in a little bit to show you guys uh, what's happening. So guys, as you can probably tell by the echo, we have emptied the store. Um, so without further ado guys, wanted to show you the new farm with the tanks moved in and let's head over there now. So guys, welcome back to the new store. We've got a few updates and I thought I'd show you around a little bit. Um, as you saw, the old store is gone and this is our new location. Uh, so we've got a lot more tanks and a lot more to show you. So let's jump into it. So starting off, we've got our little dry goods stand here. Nothing too crazy. Um, and then starting off over here, we've got our SPS quarantine system. So right now we've got a bunch of mushroom frags that I made yesterday, uh, but this is going to be our system for quarantining new SPS corals before they head over to our farm system here. So this trough is gonna house all of our colonies and we've got a couple of testers in there. You can't see too well because of all the flow. Then they will move over here into the frag systems here these two tanks there and then our other new tanks are these right here so these are just more online corals so as you can see right now they're filled pretty much all with euphilia so we've got some torches in there a couple hammers some frog spawns as well as a really nice new meat coral we got in that guy is huge and then this system is going to be most likely a mushroom tank. Uh, once we get this guy plumbed and drilled, and then we've got some more euphilia here. And this tank, this tank right here is most likely gonna house our larger pieces. So trachophilias, brains, things like that. As you guys saw in our last video, this is our online system. So we've got some nice chalices over here, including the Space Invaders. They've got that really nice green color with the yellow eyes, as well as a few others that are on sale right now. And then we've got a few torches in here left. Some of the Todds right there, as well as a nice cotton candy and some golds. Also got some new zoas right here that we just got in. Fragged up some of those guys yesterday. We've also got some firework clove polyps that we just got in. And some mandarin clove, clove polyps that just got fragged up a little while ago. We'll let those guys heal up a little bit and then they'll probably go on the website. Then next up, we've got our other tank here with some of our leathers as well as some of the mandarin clove pops we've already got on the site here. And then our scolies. We've got these really interesting button scolies here. These guys are really large. You might wonder why they're actually bigger than some of our normal scolies. And that's just because they're a lot more developed. So you get some really nice colors like that pink and green one there and up there as well as the red with the whitish striping on them. Um, those guys are really cool and unique. I've never really seen any that big, um, but we got them in and they are really cool. Uh, then we've got some of our acans, of course, in here, as well as some colonies for people who like bigger pieces. And then we've got our mushrooms here. So we've got the forest fire rhodactus. Those guys are a really quick grower really great for filling in a mushroom rock with a lot of color. They've got really great green base with that bright orange. Uh, some Recordia mushrooms, as well as various other Rhodactis. We've got the orange ones and some Duncans here. 
some large discosomas, another orange rhodactus there. We've also got some yumas, um, as well as the jawbreaker there. We try to keep a nice collection of mushrooms just because they're really great beginner corals and they've got a lot of color and variety. Um, never have too many mushrooms. Uh, then we've got a couple more acans here as well as some of the trumpet corals. These are uh, similar to the Beetlejuice trumpets. Uh, those are one that I get requested a lot just because they're a little more unique. And a lot of people, they love the kryptonites, um, that bright green color there. Um, but the contrast and the uniqueness of these um, green and purple trumpets really makes them stand out. And it's just not something you see all the time. And those are the kinds of things we like to bring in, um, especially since we specialize in coral. Uh, we've got that really nice, incredible rainbow chalice there. Um, the next tank is our order holding tank right here where we've got our customer orders. You might recognize this. This used to be an invert system. Um, but now we've got it here for holding orders now that we've moved over all of our online corals. Um, next up, we've got a nice selection of ORA pieces here. Um, so that includes the Digitatas, the Staghorn, Yellow Stag, as well as some Pasilopora, some Stylophora, and the ORA Scorch and Torch Acro. That one's very similar to the Red Ferrari. It's got really nice uh, thin branches, similar to the Red Dragon, but it's got bright yellow polyps, as you can see there. Um, that's definitely one I really like a lot. Um, a few more ORA pieces here, including the Hawkins Enchinata, right there. And moving on, we've got some Cyphastrias, as well as some more chalices, the Hollywood Stunners. Uh, an ORA Mint Pavona. This one's got really unique uh, growth pattern. You can see that smaller one there. And then I've actually got a larger one over in this tank right here. And as you can see, it's just got a really cool, unique growth pattern that you don't see all the time. Moving on to our rainbow acan section here. Um, we've got a pretty good selection of rainbow acans right now. Um, hopefully we'll get some more in the next couple weeks. Of course, we've got these two mini colonies here um, in case you're looking for a little bit of a larger piece to fill in an area. Um, I always recommend with the acans, especially the rainbow acans, that you keep them at lower par. Uh, a lot of people um, talk about how rainbow acans will lose their color. And what I've noticed is that they'll actually maintain their color really well. If you keep them in a par very low, and this is gonna sound a little crazy, but around 20 to 50, so I'll usually recommend putting them under a rock or in a cave. Um, you do wanna make sure you feed them to make up for that. We've also got some nice trachies here um, that we got in recently. Those guys are perfect for sitting on the sand bed. Um, then of course we've got our Ghanis here. Not a ton in stock right now, hopefully getting some more soon. Um, the ORA clams here, we've got a nice Durasa as well as a couple of Maximas there. Um, I definitely recommend the captive bred clams just because they do so much better um, than the wild ones and they're free of diseases. Um, bubble coral and a Symphilia. That one is a little more unique. Uh, you don't see it all the time. And this one's actually got really nice pink and yellow coloring as well as some blue mouths there. Uh, we've got some elegance corals pretty much every color combination. Um, so we've got the pink mouth one up front here, as well as the neon green with pink tentacles and the peachy pink tentacle green one in the back there. Uh, then we've got a few hammers. We're getting some more hammers in next week. Um, so keep your eyes out for those guys if you're looking for some more of them, as well as a few frog spawns there. We've also got some splattered Aussie hammers in. So the biggest difference between these Aussie and uh, Indo hammers are that these heads are a lot fatter. So you can see each of these are one head um, and they are much larger than these Indo varieties here that are one head. Um, they're about two to four times the size and they do take a little bit longer to grow, but they do grow a lot bigger as you can tell. Um, we've also got some Rasta torches here, 
And next to those are our Zillas. Um, we've got some more Zillas posting every week, basically. Um, tons and tons and tons of different ones there. Um, then we've got our Acro um, SPS system here. Uh, a little light right now. Um, we're working on getting some of them moved over into the new system, the trough system over there. And you can see here the reason why we've got Zoas dropping pretty much every week. We've got a ton that we farm out. Um, really, it's too many to, to keep track of and to frag out every week or so. Um, we usually try to frag at least once a week, but a lot of them really need fragging twice a week um, just because we have so many. A lot of them grow so fast that we end up with a lot of uh, the weedier ones like the captive jerks growing off their tile. And as you can see, it makes a lot of fun on the rack where then we have to frag them back off of the individual plugs. Same with the pink mohawks there, um, as well as some of the nirvanas there. Um, but we've got a lot of newer ones that we're starting to farm out. Um, the Worldwide Purple Heart, the electric oompa loompa um as well as the pink diamonds there and so hopefully we'll start having more consistent frags of those guys soon um and we're always looking to get some more uh zoas every time we uh, meet some new hobbyists or go to new shows things like that we're always keeping our eyes out um then we've got our zoa frag grow out so after we frag them uh, they will go in this tank and we let them heal up for a little bit, start to encrust onto their plugs so they're nice and chunky when they go on the site and they ship out to you or you pick them up in person. Then we've got um, another farm tank here. This one hasn't changed too much. Um, we've got some chalices, of course, big old pictinia there. Um, another different variety of the pavona, that's the cactus pavona. And then some of our Cyphastrias, including the uh, branching Cyphastria there. Those guys are really cool and unique. Typically the Cyphastrias are these guys and they will encrust over their plugs. So as you can see here, uh, they're starting to encrust over their base. Whereas these guys, the branching Cyphastrias will actually branch up and grow out, which is really cool, almost like an Acropora. Um, and then, of course, we've got some of our Stylus Stanellas, our Favias, uh, Leptoceras, some of the Favites there, um, and then some more of the Favites, Stylus Stanella, the Leptoceras, and the Leptostrea there, um, a Gonastria, um, and then we've got our Gani and Albiopora collection. These guys are looking great we've got our highlighter right here that's definitely one of my favorite as well as the pink lemonade um, those guys are growing nicely and hopefully we'll get fragged up soon so we can make some more frags for you guys and then we've got our a can grow out so we've got some of the more unique ones like the bower banky a cans um, there these guys are a little slower growing but they get a lot bigger um, and then, of course, the Acan Lords or Micro Musa Lords, as well as some bigger pieces like the Wilson Eye back there. Um, and then we've got some of our mushrooms, like the um, Sun Kiss Bounce there, as well as the OG Bounce. Got a couple of those guys that were growing out. And then a newer one, the Poseidon Bounce. This one is very similar to the Neptune Bounce. Um, it's a discosoma that's bouncing. That one's really cool. Um, we don't have any frags left of that guy, unfortunately, uh, but hopefully we'll have some soon. Those guys do grow pretty quick. Then we've got kind of our mix match tank. Uh, so we got some inverts in here, some rock flowers that we are a little light on, unfortunately. Hopefully get some more in this soon on those guys. And then we've got our bubble tip anemones, of course. Those guys are awesome. Great coloration. And then we've got our little friend here, the Huma Huma Trigger. Uh, he's a little monster. Um, he was actually in a customer's tank and he was knocking over corals and rocks. So we had to get him out, unfortunately, um, and hopefully get him an upgrade soon. 
Um, but that is about it, guys. Um, so let us know down in the comments below what do you think of the upgrades we made to the shop and anything else that you would like to know. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you.